Are you looking for some new entry-level certifications to help begin your IT journey? Or maybe you're already in the IT industry and you're looking for something to take you to that next level or maybe that new position. Well, you're in luck. What better way to bring in a new year than with some new certifications? Stay tuned. Today, we're going to look at some new entry-level certifications by Cisco. So don't forget to click like, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell. Welcome to Debt Free and IT. I'm your host, Mike. This podcast is for anyone that's looking to get into the IT field, whether you're just curious or you're looking to make that career change, you've come to the right place. Just like you saw in the preview, Cisco has created some new entry-level certifications. Let's say if you already tried to get in IT and maybe you got overwhelmed or maybe you started out trying to study for the Cisco CCNA and that became too much for you, you need a certification that's going to make you valuable, but also at the same time, you don't want it to be as difficult as the CCNA. You want it to be a stepping stone that could lead either to the CCNA or as you'll find out here soon, maybe a stepping stone that's going to lead you towards cybersecurity. With this new certification, it's called the, there's two of them. The first one I'm going to go over is more towards cybersecurity and it's called Cisco Certified Support Technician abbreviated as the CCST, and it's a cybersecurity cert. This cert covers five domains. Those domains are essential security principles, basic network security concepts, endpoint security concepts, vulnerability and asset and rich risk, risk management, and incident handling. Who might be interested in this certification? So if your goal is to end up in cybersecurity, I think this certification will make a good stepping stone to lead you one step closer to that cybersecurity position. And also, if you would like to eventually get the Cisco Cyber Ops certification, then this cert, according to their website, is perfect for leading to the Cyber Ops security cert. And also, I would like to add that if you get this certification and you like to pair it with something to make yourself stand out a little bit more, I think it pairs well with the CompTIA's Security Plus or the Cisco Cyber Ops certifications. In my eyes, I think that it pairs well with either or because to me, the Cyber Ops and the Security Plus is right along the same lines of if I had to see which one is more popular and which one is more known, I would definitely say the Security Plus. Um, if you go on one of these job sites like Indeed or LinkedIn and look up uh, Cyber Ops, and then also do another search on the Security Plus, I'm probably pretty sure that you'll get more hits for the Security Plus. But like I said, both searches is valuable. I'm just going by what I see more of or more of what I see in being asked for. But either one of them isn't a bad choice. It pairs well with either the Cisco Cyber Ops or either that come to your Security Plus. And also, as of now, as of my research now, uh, it's, I'm recording this probably the end of February, so in about a week or two, it'll be March. This test is scheduled to become available on March 1st of this year, and the cost is going to be $125. So if you've looked up any certification cost, especially if you looked up the cost of a Cisco CCNA, then this is way cheaper than the Cisco CCNA. So the Cisco CCNA usually runs from around 320 to 340. There are numerous ways you may be able to get a discount. You know, if you're currently enrolled in school or you're going through the networking academy, then you may be able to get some sort of discount. But if you're not enrolled in either of those, then you're looking at about 320 to 340 out of pocket. So this certification definitely comes in a little bit cheaper. And also the exam topics. I listed the domains that's in there, but under the domains, it goes into the exam topics. If I think about it, if I don't forget it, when I make this video and make it available, I'll add a link to the exam topics on Cisco's website. So if you've watched my previous videos on how I passed my Cisco CCNA, you would know that I'm big on going by the exam topics to use that as my study guide. Also, a good book and some labs. As of right now, there's not a, a OCG book out for this certification, 
or I wasn't able to find it yet, but I'm pretty sure as the date, date that this cert becomes available, I'm pretty sure you'll start seeing some guides on Amazon and also on Cisco's website that you can order. If you're finding value in this episode right now and you're listening via Apple Podcasts or Spotify, or even if you're on YouTube, please leave me a comment. If you're listening via Apple or Spotify, please leave the podcast a review. It helps me to grow my channel. It helps me to grow this podcast. It helps me to reach more ears. That way, it may land upon the right ears, and this may somehow encourage them to go ahead and make that leap to get into the IT field that they may have been wanting to get into for a while now. Please leave me a review, a comment, and also share this episode with a friend who's trying to get into the IT industry. Next certification that's a part of the Cisco new certification that Cisco has rolled out is this is the Cisco Certified Support Technician, abbreviation CCST, and it's more geared towards networking. So this cert, definitely from the jump, lets me know that, okay, this cert is possibly going to lead into a Cisco CCNA. So the certification covers six domains, six topics, such as standards and concepts, uh, network addressing and subnet and formats, endpoints and media types, infrastructure, diagnosing problems, and also security. So one thing you may have noticed if you've studied any kind of networking before, you can't escape subnet. So that subnet is going to be there. Uh, you might as well learn it now. You may not have to use it in the future. Uh, most of the time in the field, we had subnet calculators, but you may want to go ahead and get it down pat, how to do it by hand now, because subnetting is not going anywhere. And like I said, that this certification is going to lead to you getting that Cisco CCNA. And right off the bat, it kind of reminds me of a Network Plus. To me, this kind of seems like uh, this may be Cisco's own Network Plus, their entry-level network certification that will lead you to the Cisco CCNA. And before now, if somebody was to ask me, what cert can I get that's going to lead to a Cisco CCNA? Before now, my first, my first uh, answer would have been the Network Plus. But now, with Cisco having their own entry-level networking certification, we got a new boy in town. So, like I said, I think this cert is going to start to, you're going to start to see it just like you see the Network Plus being advertised and just like you see where different jobs and different managers and different companies are requiring you to have a Network Plus. And also, if you want to end up in a networking role like a network engineer, a network analyst, a network admin, this certification is a good stepping stone towards that because that Cisco CCNA, that's right along the, the job titles that you can get with a Cisco CCNA. Not saying that you can also get security titles also. So that Cisco CCNA, I think it's a good overall cert. And also, as of right now, the first date that this test becomes available is April 23rd. So unlike the security, which they're ready to roll that bad boy out now, it's coming out in March. We won't see this cert available till April 2023. The cost is the same as the cybersecurity cert we went over, which is $125, which is also another big discount from the Cisco CCNA that's hovering around $320, $340, somewhere around that range. I know it's three, three something. The exam topics, it's already posted on their website. And as of now, just like the cybersecurity certification, I wasn't able to find no OCG books that you can use as a study guide for this. But best believe there will soon be a lot of those certificate, a lot of those OCG books will be available. My thoughts and concerns right now. So my only concern that I see right offhand is how long will it take before companies start asking for this entry level or these entry level networking and cybersecurity certs. As we know, a lot of times the first person that we encounter when we are sending out job applications, well, the first person is not a person, most likely it's going to be a computer. But then when we do get to the first person, then usually that's going to be someone in HR. Um, it's not going to be someone who's in the IT field that knows the IT lingo. So my only question is how long before 
job, start asking for this certification. And before people start to recognize how valuable this certification is and start searching for people that have that certification. Uh, but one thing for sure, you know, Cisco is a brand name, just like Coca-Cola. You know, go anywhere named Coca-Cola. You can go anywhere and name Cisco, and I'm pretty sure everyone's going to know. So eventually, I think that this cert will get asked for more and more. Just in the beginning times, I'm, I'm not exactly sure of how many jobs and companies will start to require this certification or at least look for this certification. So keep an eye out for these certifications if you're interested, and let me know what you think about these certs. And also, if you think you're going to take a shot at one of these certs, let me know about it, and that way keep me posted because I would love to know your outcome on these certifications. Or let me know if you're going elsewhere. Let me know if you already started studying for the Network Plus or you already started studying for the Security Plus. Either way, I think both of them is a good choice. So that wraps, wraps up the end of this episode. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on all social medias at Debt Free and IT. I'm also on LinkedIn under Michael Bowden. And also, uh, if you have any questions or emails, please send them to debtfreeandit at gmail.com. And I try to respond back to every comment or email that I get. And also, if you have any questions, you can please leave that in the comment. And I plan on making a video just going through answering questions that I've found in the comments and maybe some questions that. I've seen on Reddit because I'm an active member on Reddit also. So I plan on making a video just answering common questions that people ask. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Peace.